My name is Alan Hart and today I'm going to look at the F4 boiler fault. This is the Wiesmann boiler. This particular boiler is a Wiesmann Vitadens 100 combination boiler or combi boiler and at the moment it's got a F4 fault on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the F4, um, F4 fault and, and show you what you can do to repair it. Um, most of the time, or a lot of the time, this will be, you will need an, um, a gas engineer to repair this. But there's some simple things that we can check, first of all. So yeah, so first of all, what we'll do is we'll reset the boiler. So coming now, I'll show you how to reset it, and then you can see if that will fix it. If that fixes it, then, then, then happy days. Um, and then we'll go further into it, and I'll show you some more reasons um, for the F4 fault code. So yeah, let's have a look now. If you are getting this F4 fault code, I would advise that if you haven't had your boiler serviced for a while, then you call an engineer out and, and get your boiler serviced. Um, but I'll show you how to, how to reset the boiler now. So if we have a look on here, we can see the reset symbol. So I'll show you how to do that now. All we need to do is put it into the reset and then we'll just turn it back quickly and it'll just reset. If you struggle to do that, I'll also show you another option. So I've put it back to F4 and if you if you try to do the reset and you can't do it then um, or you're struggling then you can just turn the boiler off and most of the time it'll come back on again and it'll reset. probably still go back into your fault code so then you now you need to find out what the faults are so there's a couple of things or there's there's quite a few things to check so one thing to check is the gas the gas um, so what we'll do is we'll have a look underneath now and I'll show you where the gas tap is on it on this particular boiler the gas tap is yellow and this one this one's actually turned off so if we turn it back on there, then this boiler would work again. But there's other reasons that it could go faulty as well. So with regards to the gas part of it, what you'd need to do is just check that if you've got a gas token meter, for instance, that you haven't run out of gas. It may be that somebody's knocked the lever off on your gas meter. So that's a few things to check with the gas meter. Also, it could be condensate pipe. So if it's, if it's cold weather outside, it could be that this pipe here um, is frozen. So where it goes to outside, it could be frozen. So what you could do with that is these videos, how to unfreeze your condensate pipe. So that might be something that you'd be able to do. It could also just be blocked. So if it's a pipe like this, you could, you could just pull it out and you could just check that it's okay and then just just put it back in and then what we'll do is i'll have a quick we'll have a look inside as well and i'll show you some some options or some things it could be inside as well just to remember if you're going to take the case off on a boiler you must be gas safe registered this is part of the the seal of the boiler um, so we do a safety checks first and then once we've took the cover off, what I've done in here, there's some other issues. So I've actually turned the gas back on and we've got a we've got another F4 fault. And what I've done with this now, I've just removed the lead. So what that tells us if we have a problem with the ignition, if we had a problem with this ignition, that's another reason that we could we could have an F4 fault, so it may be that it needs new electrodes. It may be the boiler just needs a service. I've seen them inside before where they're, they're, they've got loads and loads of muck inside and, and, and it just won't work very well. Um, so that's another reason. So it's very important, very, very important that you have your boiler serviced. So as I say, it could be, could be electrodes on this um, there's, there's a few other reasons, but 
they're the normal basic reasons and yeah i hope i hope this video was of some use and thanks for watching